Cancer, so uh, with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, there's something that we know and we're taking it and we're running with it. Okay, uh, that's my mom. Um, maybe, you know, there's someone that we're going back to talk to. There's someone, there's something that we're going back um, to, oh, I don't know why I said worship in my head. That's that's not even like my thing. But there, there's something we're very ambitious about going to the past. And I, and I say night though, and maybe worship because it's a little naive. It's a little, I mean, ambitious for what? You know, why a night? Um, maybe there's someone in the past that makes us feel childish. Maybe there's someone in the past that we knew when we were younger. Um, someone that made us feel this, you know, alive, you know, and I, I just wonder what we're going back to talk about what knowledge we found today in the present that we feel like we need to go share with somebody who was in our past, someone that we let go of, someone that it never worked out with. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but however, towards the present and the future, we have the world card. So something about that, you know, made us feel alive and made us feel free. We leveled up because even after this, we have that Queen of Swords. So something helped us to move on. Something closed a chapter for us. Something that kind of kept bleeding. Keep bleeding, love. I keep bleeding, love. You got me open. Like for some reason. So, and you, and you came out even more beautiful. Or more so, you know what? You came out as beautiful as you were. And it's really up to you and everyone around you and all of your suitors who really see that. And it's like, you just kind of say, would you fetch me that? You know, like, so something about what you knew and what you found out made you this way. But I don't feel like, you know, um, it's, it's over between you two or what you have open as you just kind of patched it up for just the moment. But you, you really like, um, I don't know, you came out purified. Okay. It may go on for quite some time, um, or it may have gone on for quite some time, this feud you have with someone. We'll clarify it. Okay, but you came out the queen of swords, so now there's knowledge that you um, you share and you speak with others. Um, there's no, like I say why it's still open-ended is because there's no, like, passion here. There's no love. There's no your energy here, Cancer. There's only, like... Br um, abrupt, raw, and blunt, you know, uh, no filter needed kind of communication as that's what the Queen of Swords represents. And then she's got her like minion here or her uh, younger shadow self here also. So it's like this beautiful Medusa, okay? She's like beautiful, but she's got, a, she's got quite a few tricks up her sleeve or she's, she's doing things. But you know what? For the benefit of her because she's she's hurt. This is a hurt woman and yet she, she's not able to show emotion, you know, because she's not allowed or because um, she's been hurt. So the way that uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know, would show emotion, maybe they were reflected in money. But however, this has got you to that nine of pentacles. And I do believe you are a divine feminine. If you're a man or a male, you know, divine masculine, if you're cross-watching, this person that you're dealing with is... Um, just because you may want to watch their next moves, you're never going to know because they've got a divine journey. It seems like, yeah, at the top of the deck, we have the fool card. So this person takes their leaps of faith. You may think that looks crazy. I may think it looks crazy, but they know exactly who's speaking with them. Like the high priestess has her spirit guides left and right of her talking to her and letting her know exactly what she needs. It's not but strength and worldly or even a man that she needs, but she does... It does drive her crazy something here and for some reason she's supposed to suppress her emotions. I am proud of this nine of pentacles, this prudent woman nonetheless, self-sufficient and independent, may write books, uh, may coach people independently because as she does, you know, uh, share her secrets and skills with others. This comes slowly to her. This is something that where she's graceful. She loves the pace in which she learns. So Cancer, let's go ahead and clarify this knight of swords for you and let's understand what this knowledge is about, what is the great haste the ambition who are you speaking to what are you doing who do you know why is this knight of swords here spirit why is this knight of swords here for cancer let us uh, help us understand what you want us to know why is the knight of swords here for cancer so we got the six of pentacles upright okay taurus virgo capricorn very grounded energy so it's like you are uh working behind the scenes you're the producer the director to make this beautiful movie um okay 
I don't know. I, I say the reader because that's what I love that movie with Kate Winslet and Ralph Fiennes or Fiennes. But it looks like, you know, because you become this nine of pentacles where you're supposed to be, you've understood this, you, you understand who you're supposed to be, whether you like it or not. It looks like um, even though you may show no emotion, even though you're working behind the scenes like... Um, big hand little hand okay this this is this is because you have your task you have your journey you're giving back you're 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 giving back as i say you may be you know talking with others um say like um um like a dishonest movie right to the viewer's eyes viewer's choice it's like they're this uh this very wise man or wise female of the of the of the town and it's like really they go okay what else should I say sir what else should I say to them they, they actually think that I'm royal blood you know and it's like but you're really working um behind the scenes to make sure that you prevail to make sure that you're you know you come out on top now to some people it may look facetious for some people it may look dishonest but you know overall I do believe either if it is a little dishonest you're working on something that I do believe is honest and is true and is spiritual for you and at least a lot of us the people that you want to see see you like this see you as somebody like how did she get so you know, high and mighty? How did she or he get so royal? How did she or he gain the tools to be able to give, you know, so easily or to be able to give? And these people actually listen. These people actually bow down. And um, so it's, there's someone in the past or there's something that you've gone through. That's why it's a divine journey for you. So no, no matter what other people say, the people that matter won't have much to say, but thank you. Anyways, um, anyone else, you just be mindful of that they have, you know, they need to watch their tongues and uh, there's always serpents around. But you are doing the right thing, Cancer. Let's move on. Okay, uh, Cancer, this is also your energy. The cherry is at the top of the deck. So you have a path. And, you know, we can't, we can't, we're all sinners. We can't just say, we can't judge anyone. You are going through the path and you are laser focused on what you're doing now. You will always look back. You will laugh later. You'll be able to write multiple books. You'll have a sequel, you know, things like that. But you're on the right path. You are listening to your divine and no one's going to be able to tell you anything other because no one's in the position you are everyone's to be learning their own um you know their own lessons right now okay and you're working on skill development let's clarify so that's good they kept it nice and cute they don't need to let us know too much about what you do and going back to the past and things like that you are doing you are serving the higher good and yourself okay tell me about this world card for cancer why is the world card here tell us what you want us to know about the world card spirit help us understand what you want us to know why is the world card here Tell us about this world card spirit. Woo. So that wanted to come out and it wanted to come out in reverse. It was the last card at the top. It usually always folds, but it popped out. Page of Swords, more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's not much that you want us to know. You don't question, all right? That's a positive thing about what you've done and how you've come to a completion, how you were able to sleep that night, how you were able to dust off your shoulder. We don't talk about it. There are maybe, like I said, serpents and people with loose tongues around you, people with no filters, and uh, you have very much filter needed. So it's like all of your assets that you are to build, even the ones that you don't know how they got there, you don't question them. You're not gonna, you're not gonna take advantage advice from somebody who's not on that level okay you want like 2.0 keg um or i don't know keg but those those machines you know high tech machines you want high tech you want people on your level and that maybe right now it's just you so but also with the page of swords in reverse means that you may be closed off i think you're just closed off to people's opinions and um you you may you may be shut off from open doors because you would just rather the the wind push you into the one even if it's closed and double locked i feel like that means that you're not so much open to um paths where you see the, the light at the end of the tunnel or the sun at the end of the tunnel because you've been so used to just listening to your divine so that's that we've got at the top of the deck justice so Again, I don't even have to pull out any card because I know that was onto something. I really do believe just keep going with your intuition. No one can tell you anything. Keep going with that. There's no red light there. Even though you're shut off, most times you would be like, you know, you want to be open to the people who are coming to you. But you know what? Right now it's doing so good. Um, the emotion, whereas lies again, it's big hand, little hand. You don't have to show people that emotion when you're doing what you got to do. The emotion will come while you're here is because you had too much emotion. So right now you're needing to lead the troops, lead the pack. 
So that's what that says about the world card. You were asking no questions about how you've completed a task. You've completed it nonetheless. Thank you, Spirit Guides, moving forward. Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords for Cancer here, Spirit? Let us know what you want us to know. Tell us what you want us to know about this Queen of Swords for Cancer. Why is the Queen of Swords for Cancer here? Okay. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Cancer? Tell us about the Queen of Swords. All right. What do we have here? The Hermit card. So now we're asking to be a little humble. We're asking to go. We're asking to, to stretch elastic band for a little bit. Be a little bit of elastic woman because it seems... Yes, we are not, I mean, again, we're not wrong. So when we're the queen of swords, how we got here, it was kind of like a blink of the eye, how we stepped into this power. And that's how powerful the spirit guides can guide you. So you really have to be inclined. You really have to be somewhat of an elder in speech of this type of journey and listening and being the high priestess and understanding the logic and, um, and how you move, right? Swiftly gliding, you know, um, uh, don't I look pretty, you know? And so, but you do want to make sure, hey, okay, it's time to pack. It's time to pack my 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 things and, and let me let me go on my sanctuary. However you do that, if it's even just sitting in your closet to going to the to wherever you go, it's time to 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 be able to to understand your next lesson, to be able to understand your next journey. You're sitting in your seat, you're sitting in your throne, you're wearing your new costume, you have your new makeup on. You did your hair differently. All right, you know, but now I need to see why I did that and what's next for me to do, okay? Let's get one more for the Queen of Swords for Cancer. One, And so this means no talk with people when you go to do that. You know that, Cancer. There's no communication with the outside world. This is for you to get your own clarity. Turn off all the radio waves and put your earplugs in. You know what I'm saying? Wear your ugliest clothes and just go about your day. Go about that time because it's time to see what else you need to do. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords for Cancer, Spirit. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the Five of Pentacles. So sometimes we are shown or we are given things, we are given knowledge, okay? Because with, with all of that power is going to come knowledge and it's to see how we do with it. The, the Spirit Guides are going to put us through tests, okay? There's something we are going to see here about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There's something we're going to see about our money. There's something we're going to see about reality. Sometimes this pity card here has nothing to do with the money or another person as someone's there and there's money there, there's lights there, there's help there, there's spirituality there but we feel like there's nothing we have on our ugliest clothes we're going to start to pity ourselves something about this new journey something about this queen of swords something about this knowledge once we've completed a task and we've realized that this is where we need to be okay rewind the video if you need be is going to scare us it's going to get us really down and really 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 vulnerable we come back out on top with this nine of pentacles tell us why the nine of pentacles is here for cancer spirit help us it flipped over and then flipped back over the death card. So Scorpio, you could be dealing with. Um, there is some sort of new perspective, new life, new, 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 um, new life here in passion and love. There's something coming that's going to make us very vulnerable. So this was the flu shot. Does that make sense? You put the flu inside of you so that I don't know when the season comes around, you can reject it. But you do need that vaccine. Um, you do need that um, that glimpse. And this is probably the worst that could get you. That stability, that character building, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that down to earth, that ten toes down. Having pity, but being ten toes down nonetheless. So we got you to be the queen of swords here. We got you up in the air. We got you going on journey alone. We got you thinking the worst about yourself. You know what I'm saying? We've got you completely alone. We've got you completely cornered to be able to then change perspectives, see things differently, completely 360, ask for this death, ask for this change. You are going to get some sort of passion, love, adventure with someone, okay? We saw the three of swords. Don't mind that, okay? I opened up to the to the star card, trust me, okay? But that can easily happen, that three of swords. Have faith, okay? Have to have, there's a lot of downloads that's gonna be coming to you, Cancer. Please, um, if you wanna know more about this energy, if this resonates, please email me and let's get you booked and accounted for ASAP. Thanks so much, Cancer. I do wanna say, look, again, the sun card. So th when, when the queen of swords happens, everything comes brutally and abruptly. But we still have the nine of pentacles here to account for. And that's seeing, that's, 
There's a lot of downloads that are going to be coming. And I just say, go with it. Go with it. Let life hit you the way that it hits you. Okay. Thanks so much, Cancer, for watching. Bye.